Good evening, it's uh, nice to be with you again, isn't it, Patrick? Yes, Patrick, it most certainly is. <laughs> In a packed universe tonight, I shall be speaking to the disgruntled Apollo 12 astronaut who's still waiting to be paid his mileage allowance. And I'll be talking to the astronomer who's fed up working nights. <laughs> we shall also be taking a closer look at a red dwarf and asking him if he enjoyed being foreign secretary. <laughs> but first, the news. Scientists observing Mars have discovered signs of life much more advanced than our own. They've been watching a weeks and haven't seen one cookery program. <laughs> Earlier today, a planet was discovered directly opposite our own, but on the other side of the sun, which is why we've never seen it. <laughs> the planet mirrors Earth in every respect, except for one. In their version of On the Buses, Blakey was a woman. <laughs> Even more fascinating, an astronomer in Chipping Sodbury has discovered a whole new galaxy in the back of a drawer behind a trophy cusp. <laughs> it's the way one tells them. Today's launch of Britain's first moon rocket was seriously delayed when guest of honour, David Beckham, was asked to count backwards from ten. <laughs> the first a sketch in which I play a much-trusted astronomer. And I play the trust. <laughs> hey, diddle diddle, the cat and the fiddle, the cow jumped over the moon. Actually, Mother, it's very unlikely that a cow could achieve the 18,000 miles an hour escape velocity in the atmosphere. And even if it could, the burn upon re entry would result in a hamburger shower across Tierra del Fuego and possibly parts of Cardiff. Patrick, please. Sorry. The little dog laughed to see such fun. Actually, Mother, can I stop you there? Now, all of this would probably be happening some distance away, so it's very unlikely a small dog could see such an event with the naked eye. It's just a rhyme, dear. I would suggest, and others may disagree, you would need at least a 17-inch refractor operating on a preamp spectral density of 7.3, the universally accepted figure for a bovine lunar leap. Patrick, let me finish. Sorry. Where was I? And the dish ran away with the spoon. <laughs> well, dish running away with a spoon, that would never happen, would it? Actually, Mother, this is entirely possible, so long as the dish and spoon were operated by some kind of remote psychokinetic power, and the Russians have a man who can do this. <laughs> Mother, I'm seeing stars. Oh, look, there's Uranus, just to the northeast of the tall boy, and across there, the asteroid of Ceres, clearly in the form of a lampshade. Quite magnificent. <laughs> So, some very happy memories there. Now, do you think that the Big Bang was possibly caused by God leaving the gas on and then accidentally sparking up a ciggy? <laughs> I know one thing. I wasn't there. Neither were you. No, it was nothing to do with us. No, we weren't there. Being an astronomer is, of course, splendid. But it does leave you at rather a loose end during the day. We all know, oh, not really, you know, there's plenty of sun up there, you can see it. Indeed, and this is the very point. We needed something to occupy the daylight hours. Yes. And so, to fill this void, we took up cricket. Now, two teams of men, dressed in white and cream, one of them chucks the ball like a big girl. No, 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 he doesn't chuck the ball. I said that is illegal. He bowls it. Ah. You, you chuck is illegal. I see, I see. Certainly. Well, he would have you been... You should know, sir. You should have known far better than that. I'm terribly sorry. You that should was... be, yes. They're quite wrong. <laughs> okay, well, you know, that's he was... That is a chuck. Yes. That, that was a no ball. It was very wrong. And the ball is still... It's called, called, called a no ball. <laughs> and the ball is still there, you understand. It's called a no ball. Well, surely... Do you... you understand? Well, I do. I'm still there, you understand. You don't understand that, I do. Uh, don't make a mistake again, please. No, 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 I, I won't. It was, I, it was very unfortunate it that was, I made yeah, that error. Yeah. I will make every effort for that yeah, not to be... Please, 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 please. Now, continue. <laughs> Carry on. For someone of our superior intelligence, isn't cricket a bit bloody daft? <laughs> no, I don't think it is. Very far from it. No, very far from it, no. It is the, the be-all end all of life. In one memorable edition of The Sky at Night, we actually swallowed a fly live indeed, on the air, indeed. but continued speaking in a no, remarkable the, the No, please, the fly did not continue speaking. <laughs> the fly, the fly buzzed all the way down. The fly, the fly did not speak at all. I imagine if it did, I, mean, I didn't hear what it said, it probably said, oh dear, what, what an awful pity. Yes, what an awful pity. Did we swallow a spider to catch the fly? <laughs> No, no, no. Did we swallow a horse? I don't know. I think I'm going to leave it there. Yes, yes, yes. Ladies and gentlemen, us. us. <laughs> Shall we? Why not? Up to you, sir.
was quite magnificent. Good. And now I thought I might have a go myself. Here we are. Break, break, jungle is posse. Now, <laughs> me is here to talk to you about space and ting. <laughs> space, it is well big, isn't it? Now, my brothers, they is saying to me, Patrick man. <laughs> if me is wanting to go to space, I... <laughs> to check out the Mars and be hanging with the Jupiter Massive... <laughs> if you're gonna get there in my BMW with the alloy wheels and the blacked out windows, I... <laughs> And me saying, in all likelihood, no. <laughs> you go to Mars in your BMW with your blacked out windows and your alloy wheels, the Martians is gonna zap you because they think you as a dealer, I. <laughs> Everybody, get knowing about space, get wise about it, and big up yourself. West Side. <laughs> when you walked in, I said with a grin, you feel it is talking about you. Next Sunday at 7 o'clock, with comedy as Gwen Taylor returns as Barbara. But next, a tearful Rita bids farewell to Anthony on Coronation Street. Enjoy the